Now the next pair of surahs and the last of these ten. These two surahs concern the family life of the Mu'minin believers. And first of all, it must be noted that this family life and family loss are so important in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that nothing has been discussed in the Qur'an in that much detail in which the family laws are given in the Qur'an. Full five sections of Surah Al-Baqarah. Then you have in Surah Ahzab, in Surah Al-Nisa, Surah Al-Nur, family laws. Now regarding this family life, there can be two extremes. One extreme is that the husband and the wife, they are not going well with each other. There are some disputes. So the extreme will be talaq. But what are the rules of talaq? What are the etiquettes of talaq? This is the subject of Surah Al-Talaq. The other is extreme love. Love between the spouses is something which is required. It must be there. But to an extent. Not to the extent that it disturbs the boundaries of Allah's Sharia. So that extreme discussed in Surah Al-Tahrim. And both attached together here. And they become a very beautiful pair. Now we come to Surah Al-Tahrim. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها النبي لما تحرم ما أحل الله لك تبتغي مرضات أزواجك والله غفور رحيم قد فرض الله لكم تحلة إيمانكم والله مولاكم وهو العليم الحكيم صدق الله العظيم يسيد السلاس بير الصورات both us starting with the same words يا أيها النبي Surah Al-Talaq started, Ya Ayyuhan Nabi, Iza Talaqtum Al-Nisa Fatalaquhunna Al-Iddatihinna. This Surah again starting with Ya Ayyuhan Nabi. O Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, why do you ban for yourself what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has made lawful to you? You want to seek the pleasure of your wives? And Allah is forgiver merciful. There is an incident in the background that the Prophet ﷺ used to visit every wife, a very short visit, five minutes, ten minutes, between Asr and Maghrib. But it so happened once that to Hazrat Zainab bin Tijahash, one of the wives of the Prophet anha, some honey came from somewhere. So she used to present that honey to the Prophet ﷺ when he visited her. And so more time was passing over there than the routine. So this was hard on Hazrat Aisha and Hazrat Hafsa ta'ala and Huma. So they decided that when the Prophet comes to us, we shall say that from your mouth the smell of Maghafir is coming. Maghafir was some, you know, plant which had some disagreeable smell. But the bee, honey bee, if it had sucked the flowers of Maghafir, then the, in the honey also, the smell comes. So they did this to Prophet, you know, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I will never take it again. So on this Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is saying, it's not correct. You are, have committed a mistake. Lema tuharrimu ma'ahallallahu lak. That was permissible for you, halal for you. So why do you ban on yourself the use of something which is permissible, which is halal, only to please your wives? The Prophet was very lenient, very lenient, very lenient to the wives, no doubt. He says, خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لَأَهْلِكُمْ وَعَنَا خَيْرُكُمْ لَأَهْلِي Best among you are those who are good to their families. And I am best of you for my families. قَدْ فَرَضُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ تَحَلَّتْ عَيْمَانِكُمْ Allah has indeed ordained for you 
the dissolution of your oaths. If you take an oath, but you want now to dissolve it, there is a way, and we have read it. There is the kafara mentioned in Surah Al-Ma'idah. And Allah is your protector and He is the knower the wise. It means you should you finish your oath and you give the kafara. And another incident, And recall when the Prophet confided to one of his wives a certain matter as a secret. When she disclosed it to the to another wife, it was probably Hazrat Aisha who disclosed, the, disclosed that secret to Hazrat Hafsa, رضي الله تعالى عنهما. فلما نبات به وعذر الله, so when she disclosed it, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed the messenger of Allah about this, عرف بعضه وعرض عن بعض. So he disclosed that to him, he made known to her a part of it and passed over the other part. فَلَمَّا نَبَّعَهَا بِهِ So when he informed her of it, she said, مَنْ أَمْبَعَكَ هَذَا Who informed you of it? قَالَ نَبَّعَنِيُ الْعَلِيمُ الْخَبِيرُ He said, the knower, the awareer informed me. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a tone of displeasure and anger in it. Now here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing those two wives of the Prophet. Hazrat Aisha and Hazrat Hafsa رضي الله تعالى عنهما. إِن تَتُوبَا إِلَى اللَّهِ فَقَدْ سَغَدْ قُلُوبُكُمَا If you two turn towards Allah repentant, your hearts are indeed so inclined. وَإِنْتَذَارَ عَلَيْهِ But if you support one another against him, against the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ مَوْلَاهُ So listen, verily Allah is his protector, وَجِبْرِيلُ And after him Jibreel, وَسَالِهُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And you know all, the righteous believers, well, malaika to ba'da zalika zaheer. And after that, all the angels are also helpers of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Asar abbuhu, another threat. It may be that, in talaqa kunna, if our Prophet divorces you all, an yubdilahu azwajan khairam min kunna, so Lord will give him, in exchange, wives better than you. Muslimatin, submissive. Mu'minatin, believing. Qanitatin, obedient. Taibatin, penitent. Abidatin, devout. Abidatin, saihatin, given to fasting. Sayyibatin wa abkara, previously married or virgins. These five ayats, you know, they have a background of the family life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the lesson is that although one should be lenient to the family, but the boundaries of the Sharia, they have to kept intact. Now it was not possible. For us, you know, it's possible that we make something which is haram, haral for us, for the sake of our wives or our children. But it was not possible for the Prophet that he can take something which is haram. But he did the other way. That thing that was halal, he put a ban on himself that he will not use it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took it and gave this guidance for all the ummah. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu quu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. O you who believe, try to save yourselves and your families from the fire. Now this is the positive role that a moment believer has to play in his family. The negative was, guard yourself, lest their love takes you in the wrong direction. Ya ayyuhaladina amanu, inna min azwajikum wa awladikum aduwa lakum fahzaru. Guard yourself, be on the alert. But the positive role is that you have to try to save them from the fire of hell. Try to bring them to the way of Allah, try to bring them up. In the, base, base, in the best Islamic, you know, way, so that they are safe from the day of judgment from the fire of hell. Ya ayyuhal ladhin amanu ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara wa kudu han nasu wal hijara. The fuel of that fire is to be mankind and stones. Stones, 
their idols, which they used to do worship, they will also be thrown with them into the fire of the hell. Alayha malaikatun ghilazun shidadun. Over that are appointed angels who are very stern and very strong. La yasun allahum amarahum. They never disobey Allah. Whatever Allah commands them, they follow namayu varun. They do whatever they are commanded to do. What does it mean? You love your children, but due to excessive love, these children are going on wrong ways. If they are going on wrong ways, what does it mean? They are going to the fire of hell. Now when these beloved ones of you, they will be thrown in the fire of hell. And you know the angels will be there. They will never, their hearts will never melt on their weeping and crying and moaning and groaning. They are very stern. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they have to be chastised, they will chastise. Ya ayyuhu ladhina kafaru la qatadurul yawm. And it will be said to the disbelievers, O you who disbelieved, la qatadurul yawm. Do not excuse yourself this day. Inna ma tizawna ma kuntum ta'amaloon. You are only being recompensed for what you used to do. Now comes a very beautiful ayah of the Qur'an addressing the Muslims. Ya ayyuhu ladhina amanu tubu ila allahi tawbatan nasuha. O you who believe or profess to believe, repent to Allah, turn to Allah in sincere repentance, tawbatan nasuha, pure and sincere repentance. Asa rabbukum ayyukafirankum sayyatikum. Maybe that your Lord will acquit you and expense from your record your evil deeds. وَيُدْخِلَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَدْرِي مِنْ تَعْتِ الْأَنْهَارِ And make you enter the gardens underneath which rivers will be flowing. يَوْمَ لَا يُخْزِ اللَّهُ النَّبِيَّ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَاهُ The day when Allah will not humiliate the Prophet and those who believed with him. نُورُهُمْ يَسْعَى بَيْنَا اَدِيهِمْ Now the same picture which we found in Surah Al-Hadid. يَوْمَ تَرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يُؤْرُهُمْ يَسْعَى بَيْنَ عَيْدِيهِمْ وَبِعَمَانِهِمْ مُشْرَاكُمُ الْيَوْمَ جَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَعْتِ الْأَنْهَارِ The same picture here. نُورُهُمْ يَسْعَى بَيْنَ عَيْدِيهِمْ وَبِعَمَانِهِمْ Their light will be running in front of them and on their right hand side. يَقُولُونَ And they will be saying, رَبَّنَا أَتْمِمْ لَنَا نُورَنَا O our Lord, complete and perfect our light for us. وَقْفِرْ لَنَا And forgive us. إِنَّ كَعَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْنْ قَدِيرٌ Verily, you are powerful over everything. Now what does this mean? Actually, the noor of Iman will be according to the intensity of Iman. Somebody had very intense Iman, so light will be very strong. Others had Iman in their heart, but not so intense. So the light will be low. In this way, Varying degrees of lights. The Prophet had said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, on that day, some people will be given a light which will enlighten from Medina to Sana'a. Up to Sana'a, Yemen, this light will go. And there will be others whose light will only uh, lighten the place before their feet, just like the light of a torch. It has a very small area, but you see the way. You can, you save, you are saved. So this is the variation. So those who light will be not very strong, they will then pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, our light is not so strong. Why? We had not so intense iman. We didn't have many, uh, so many good deeds. So this thing you can, uh, you can perfect our life by your own authority. So, Rabbana atmim lana nurana. O oh Allah, make our life, my light perfect, waqfir lana. And because it is not perfect due to our sins, so forgive us our sins. Inna ka'ala kulli shayin qadeer. Verily, you have power over everything. Ya ayyuhan nabiyo jahid al-kuffara wal munafiqina wa ghaluz alayhi. O Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, struggle hard against the disbelievers and the hypocrites. And be you harsh with them. Your leniency, you know, shouldn't be for the hypocrites. Leniency for the believers. But for the hypocrites and the kuffar, you have to be harsh. 
Mawahum Jahannam wa Bisal Masir. Their abode is hell and it is an evil destination. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving here four examples of women. Generally, the idea among women folk is that actually the religion addresses only men. We are under men. So as if we are attached to our men. If they are going, do, doing good deeds, it's okay. We shall also benefit from their good deeds. Quran says no. Each, every soul, male or female, has to work for himself or herself. And there can be that the husband might be a very good person, but the wife might be going to Jahannam. Or the husband might be a very big enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the wife might be a very righteous, you know, servant of Allah. This is just possible. So every human soul, male or female, is independent of others regarding his own virtues, his own iman, his or her iman, his or her deeds. Now, as for the kafir women, Allah has struck a similitude for those who disbelieve the wife of Nuh alayhi salatu wassalam and the wife of Lut alayhi salatu wassalam. Kaanata tahta abdaini min ibadina salihain. Both of, her, both of them were under our two very righteous servants, messengers of Allah, Nuh and Lut, and they were in their homes, wives. Fakhanatahuma, but they betrayed them. Falam yuhniya anhuma min Allah shaya. So they and their husbands availed them nothing but swear against Allah. And it was said to them, enter the fire along with the enterers. Although they were wives of two messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet himself used to gather the women folk, close relatives. Then he should address each one by name. Ya Fatima tu, bintu Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, an qazi nafsake min al nar O Fatma, the dear daughter of, of the Messenger of Allah, you have to save yourself from the fire of hell. I will not have any authority about you on the Day of Judgment. Ya Safiya to Amma to Rasulullah, Ankadi nafsaki min al-Nar, Faini laam liku laki min al-Lai Shaya. O Safiya, the maternal aunt, the paternal aunt of the Messenger of Allah, you have to take out yourself from the fire, save yourself from the fire. I will not have any power, ever authority about you on the day of judgment. So every human soul is independent and responsible for his or her deeds. Conversely, there is the example of the wife of Firaun, Asiya. The name is not given in Quran, it is in Torah. وَظَرَبُ اللَّهُ مَسَلَ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مْرَاتَ فِرْعَونَ and Allah has struck a similitude for those who believe the wife of Fir'aun when she said this qalat, Rabbi ibn li in the fil jannah. O my Lord, build for me a house in the garden in thy presence near you. Wadajani min Fir'aun. And deliver me from Fir'aun. Wa'amalehi and his doings. Wadajani min al-qawmi zalimin. And deliver me from the evil doing people. Now she was living in a palace. Wife of the emperor Fir'aun. But she had a different way. As we know, she was an Israelite. And you know, she was taken to the palace. And the emperor took her as wife. And she reared Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam. She was so righteous and pious woman. But she was not happy with, with Firon and the attitude and what Firon was doing. So this is the example absolutely opposite. They are the two messengers of Allah, Nu and Lut, and wives, going to the hell. Here Firaun, who is going to the hell, but the wife Asiya was a very righteous woman. Now the fourth example. And the similitude of Maryam, daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity. So, we breathed breathed into her, our spirit. And she testified to the truth of the words of the Lord. And his books. 
وکالت من القانقین اور شی واز اے ویری ڈیواؤٹ وومن ناؤ دس از دی ایگزامپل ویئر دی وومن اور دی گرل ہر سیلف واز ویری پائس اینڈ شی واز ان دی کسٹڈی آف اے ویری پائس پرسن زکری علیہ السلاۃ والسلام سو دس از نور الارا نور ناؤ دیر از ون کارنر از ویکنٹ ہیئر ورسٹ ویمن ان دی ہومز آف دی بیسٹ پیپل وائف آف لوت وائف آف نو بیسٹ وومن ان دی ہاؤس آف ورسٹ مین آسیا بیسٹ گرل آف وومن اینڈ انڈر دی کسٹڈی آف اے ویری پائس اینڈ گڈ مین دیٹ از اکریا شی از مریم ناؤ دی ورسٹ وومن ان دی ہوم آف دی ورسٹ مین دیٹ فورتھ پوزیشن از ویکنٹ بٹ دیٹ از فل ان قرآن ان دی لاسٹ پارٹ ان سورت التبت یدا ابی لہب ابو لہب ورسٹ اینمی آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ از وائف ام جمیل آلسو دی ورسٹ اینمی وی کانٹ سے وچ ون آف دیم واز مور یو نو بگر اینمی ٹو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دین دی ادر سو دیٹ از دس از نور اللہ نور بریم اینڈ دیٹ از ظلمات بعض ہا فوق باس اینڈ دیٹ از ام جمیل اینڈ her husband abu lahab now here we end with the group of 10 madani surahs this was the sixth makki madani group which ends